As school gun violence continues to be an issue in America, local schools are also continuing to review what measures they have in place if a situation were to come up. Channel 8 News reporter Mason Both has the story. USD 321 Migo is just like every other school in the nation, with a rising concern on intruders looking to harm the school and students. I think that's across the board with students and parents and, and teachers. Everybody has become more aware of the potential risk and, and the fact that it could actually happen. With those rising fears amongst school administrators, father of two students in the Wamigo district says that at the moment, those fears haven't gotten to him yet. I feel very safe at this point. I think they do a great job of uh, making sure the parents are seen and known before they let him out of school. Well, Amigo Superintendent Tim Winter says that at the moment, the middle school and elementary schools are better equipped for a situation than the high school. We do have some plans in place uh, with some construction work. We are uh, reassessing all of our, our locking mechanisms and our doors and making sure that those are upgraded. Winter says that the age of the high school and configuration is why they do not have a stronger safety measure. At the other schools, though, Brady Herman says they do a good job of showing the parents the plans in place. The beginning of every year, they make us well known on measures they have to take during a situation like that. A tornado hasn't taken any lives at a school since the 2013 Moore, Oklahoma tornado, but Winters says that they practice tornado and fire drills more than they do drills regarding lockdowns. We do some drills. Um, it is an area that we can improve in. Uh, it's not a monthly drill like a fire drill or a seasonal drill like a tornado drill. And although nothing has happened yet in the Wamigo School District as of recent memory, the superintendent tells me that they are prepared for if a situation were to arise. We're part of a program called the ALICE program. Uh, ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. It's something that we're continuing to review, continuing to uh, go over with, with our staff. From Wamigo, Mason Both, Channel 8 News. Wamigo currently employs a school resource officer in conjunction with the Pottawatomie County Sheriff and Wamigo Police Departments. Even if the officer is not in the building, law enforcement can arrive at the schools in less than one minute. 